Good evening, and welcome to the 2023 Spring Band Concert. My name is Kayla Peard, and I'm the band director here at Noble High School. You just had the pleasure to hear the NHS Jazz Ensemble perform Emergency Stopping Only by Craig Skeffington, the South Portland High School band director. It featured solos by Moses Tiba on trombone, Trevor Patterson on trumpet, and Miles Palmer on drums. Before we continue, we do have a few housekeeping items to go over. Please make sure that anything that makes sound is turned off. Our students are the ones creating the music tonight, and we want to give all of our attention to them. Also, please refrain from talking or whispering while the students are playing. What might seem quiet to you spreads very well in this auditorium. In your programs, you'll see a small piece of paper with an outline of a flower on it. Please feel free to fill them out and place them in the collection baskets on either side of the hall at the end of the concert. We love to hand these notes of encouragement up for our students in our music wing, and they are a visual representation of their concert experience once the night is over. Um, you will also find information in your program about festivals from this past year, select program notes from pieces, and a list of upcoming events. We have also been selling our Noble Music stickers and magnets. Please feel free to visit Dr. Giddings off to the side when we're doing stage changes or at the end of the concert. If you didn't bring in cash or checks this evening, you can always reach out to either of us, and we'd be happy to get them for you. All funds benefit the NHS Music Department. Our next piece is Just Friends, composed by John Klenner and Sam M. Lewis, and arranged by Joe Jackson. This piece will feature Brett Kamiski on tenor sax and Natalia Rothwell on piano. It allowed the jazz ensemble to work on concepts including timing, articulation, and extreme dynamic contrast. Enjoy.
Uh, Charles Mingus Jr. was an American jazz upright bassist, pianist, composer, bandleader, and author. A major proponent of collective improvisation, he is considered to be one of the greatest jazz musicians and composers in history. With a career spanning three decades in collaborations with other jazz musicians, such as Louis Armstrong, Duke Ellington, Charlie Parker, Dizzy Gillespie, and Herbie Hancock. Mingus's work ranged from advanced bebop and avant-garde jazz with small and mid-sized ensembles, pioneering the post bop style, to progressive big band experiments. Fables of Fabus is one of Mingus's most explicitly political work. The piece was written as a direct protest against Arkansas Governor Orville Fabus, who in 1957 sent out the Arkansas National Guard to prevent the racial integration of Little Rock Central High School by nine African-American teenagers in what became known as the Little Rock Crisis. Originally at orders of the governor, the National Guard was meant to prevent the black students from entering due to claims that there was imminent danger of turmoil, riot, and breach of peace at the integration. However, President Eisenhower issued Executive Order 10730, which federalized the Arkansas National Guard and ordered them to support the integration on September 23rd of that year, after which they protected the African American students. This piece was first recorded in 1959 and was so very different from the styles of the time that even some record companies wouldn't play it. The piece asked the players to play defiantly and sardonically, or in a mocking style, and expresses musical outrage in regards to the Little Rock Crisis. Fables of Bob is allowed Mingus to express his feelings of what was occurring in one of the only ways he could, musically. When this piece is traditionally performed, unlike other jazz pieces, we are asking you as the audience to hold all applause until the end. Please listen all the way through and do not clap after the soloist as is usually traditionally done. This tune will feature an introduction by Ian Lowry on Barry Sax, and we will have solos by Elsa Christensen on trumpet, Trevor Pattison on trumpet, and Gavin Goulet on clarinet trading eights, and Nicholas Adam on alto sax. Here's Fables of Bobbis. Thank you. 
point of time, I would like to take a minute to recognize our graduating seniors from the Jazz Ensemble. We will hear their individual plans during the symphonic band portion, but for the moment, can I have all seniors on stage please stand and be recognized?
this piece called Instant Concert. We had site read it at the end of the school year last year, and while it wasn't in the plan of pieces for this year, they still wanted to play it. I told them if they found enough players to do it, learn the parts on their own, and if they were ready by the concert, they could perform it. I think we had three rehearsals where all I did was conduct, and then yesterday's dress rehearsal. The fun part about this piece is it's made up of four to eight measures of over 25 different pieces. Following this, we'll bring up the rest of the symphonic band. Here is Instant Concert.
Ladies and myself are fortunate to bring 11 NHS students to participate in the main All-State Music Festival. While we were there, we were also able to present the award of Outstanding Administrator to our principal, A.J. Dufort, and share how he has supported us. We are very fortunate here at Noble High School and in MSAB 60 to have such support of the administration across all levels. If you have a minute in the upcoming days and are enjoying what we are doing here in the Performing Arts Department, please send a message to our administration letting them know. We often receive your messages and share them with our admin, but there is always a different impact when they hear directly from our parents and guardians. John Mackey has written for orchestra, theater, and extensively for dance, but the majority of his work for the past decade has been for wind ensembles, and his band catalog now receives annual performances numbering in the thousands. In 2014, he became the youngest composer ever inducted into the American Band Masters Association. Mackey's music is often more non-traditional when compared to other band pieces. He himself never learned to play an instrument and instead taught himself composition using computer programs. Mackey says in his program notes, the idea with Foundry was to make a piece that celebrates the fact that percussionists have the ability to make just about anything into an instrument. Snare drums and bass drums are great, but why not write a whole piece featuring non-traditional percussion? Things like salad bowls and mixing bowls and piles of metal. In some cases, I was specific about what instrument to play, timpani, xylophone, etc. With many of the parts, though, I only described what sound I wanted. Play a clang, a metal instrument probably struck with a hammer that creates a rich clang sound, and allow the percussionist to be creative in finding the best instrument to make the sound I described. It won't be surprising that Foundry for Concert Band with found percussion, much of it metallic, ends up sounding like a steel factory. This composer thanks the required 10 to 12 percussionists for allowing his ridiculous request to continue. Clang.